What's up YouTube, Gene Jack Ashley here with a brand new Dragon Ball Super deck profile. This time we are going with the OG original Gogeta. We are not running that BR stuff. I find that the BR stuff is too overrated. Too much support for it. So I'm going to the original Gogeta. I know he doesn't have very much support. And his best card is banned. The 7 drop Gogeta. Unfortunately it is banned. But let's just face it. It is really busted. So here I put uh, some... Gogeta Saiyan stuff, so it's a lot of Goku's Vegeta's, and I also threw in uh, these Bardock's. I threw in some Nappa support and the Cybermen Unison. But before we get to the deck, we will get right to the leader, which I've reviewed before, which is the original Gogeta. My favorite Gogeta, it's, I like him a lot better than the, the uh, Dragon Ball Super Broly version, because that one's just... He doesn't have kind of characters that I like from this Gogeta. This Gogeta was just downright down to business. And the other one was just like, let's fight Broly for 10 minutes. So this is the Gogeta leader. Very nice art. He's Gogeta, he's a burst leader. So when this card attacks, a burst to then draw a card. If your life is four less, you may choose two of your energy, switch to active mode and flip them over. And then he becomes, oh, I, have said, I, ha I have said before, I do hate this foiling. He becomes... Knockout Strike Gogeta. Sparking 5. When you have 5 cards in your drop area, win this card attacks trouble card. And if you have 3 or more energy, this card gets plus 5,000 power. And if you have 5 energy, he gets Double Strike. So choose 1 card in your hand, plays in your drop area. You can only, Your opponent can only activate counter once for the duration of the game. So he can negate your opponent so they can only stop it once. And if you have 5 energy, he gets Double Strike. And he also gets the plus 5 bonus, so he'd be a 20 strike, 20 double strike. And I just don't really like this this foiling, this shatter foil, but here we have Gogeta. And then to the deck, I run 3 copies of Bardock the Final Spark. I run 3 because I think 3 is enough. Uh, he's a 2 cost, 5,000 combo, 5,000 power, or 15,000 power. This skill cannot be negated in any areas when this when using this skill, so his skills cannot be negated. If your leader card is a blue Saiyan card, when this card is KO'd by an opponent's skill, place this card in your energy from your drop era. So he's just give yourself extra energy uh, when he's KO'd by a skill, but if your opponent finds out if he needs to be knocked out by their opponent's skill, he's not going to knock him out, which means you're going to have a 15 beat stick for a while until they choose to knock him out with an attack when he's in rest mode. But of course he won't go into your energy if he's knocked out by an attack. It has to be by an ability. Next we got three copies of Burning Bond Shugash. He is our three drop, 5,000 combo, 15,000 power. When this card attacks, draw one card. If you do not draw a card with this skill, it gains double strike. So you can either draw or give him double strike. Me, I'd mostly give him double strike because there's a ton of draw already in this deck. So there's nothing wrong with a 15k beat stick. Next we run three copies of Quick Thinking Go Tanks. He is a 3 cost, 5,000 combo, 15,000 power critical. Union Fusion, but we really don't use the Fusion because we just use him for his uh, draw power and critical. When you play this card with Union, draw two cards. We're not going to be doing that. When you this card attacks, draw a card. So he's just going to be mostly our attack draw, just like Shugesh. Next we got four copies of Nappa. He is our 2 cost, 5,000 combo, 20,000 power vanilla just because he evolves onto this Nappa. Nappa Promising Youth. We run four copies of him. He's got four cost, 5,000 combo, 20,000 power, double strike, EX evolve, one blue on a Nappa adolescence, which we just looked at the vanilla. When you use this card's evolve skill from your hand, you can choose battle card in your energy and play this card in active mode. So if you play this Nappa in your energy, you can evolve from your energy onto this Nappa. And once per turn, when this card attacks, activate this skill at the end of your turn. Switch one of your mono blue energy to active mode. So he get, lets you get your energy to active mode in case you want to keep use your negates in your hand while he's in rest mode. Because you want to protect him as much as possible because his ability is just so, co so good when he attacks. And at the end of your turn, you can switch one of your mono blue to energy to active mode. And he has also a 20 beat stick double strike. Next, we run three copies of Super Saiyan Son Goku. He is our two cost, 5,000 combo, 20,000 power. He's just our vanilla. We don't really play him. We just use him for our Gogeta fusion. Uh, basically, the same thing for 
Super for Saiyan Vegeta, we just use them for fusion. I only run three of each of these because they're just vanilla or they'll become energy. But we run more Gokus. Fusion Reborn Son Goku, three cost, 5,000 combo, 20,000 power. And we mostly use this one for fusion. The Gokus and Vegetas that are vanillas over there, they can be used as energy if you want. Uh, place this card. When this card is placed in your drop area from your hand, result of Union Fusion, if your leader card is Gogeta, draw a card. So this is our draw support uh, for Gogeta. Next we run four copies of Fusion Reborn Vegeta. He is a 5,000 combo, 3 cost, 20,000. When this card is placed in your drop area in your hand by Union Fusion, if your leader card is Gogeta, choose one of your energy and switch it to Activo. So in this deck you'll mostly have all the energy you want to stay active, to activate your negates or combos in your hand. Also, I just recalled I don't have any super combos in this deck, but I don't think I will really need them because a lot of cards in this deck are strong enough. Next, we run uh, Ultimate Fusion Gogeta himself. I'm not going to review the foil version because it's really hard to read. So it's a 5 cost, 10,000 combo, plus 1 to play this combo, 25,000 power, double strike. Union Fusion of 2 blue, 2 generic with a Goku and Vegeta in your hand with uh, the same power. And Auto Sparking 5 when there are 5 cards in your drop area. When you play this card, draw 2 cards and choose 2 of your opponent's battle cards. Place them at the bottom of the owner's deck. So, he's really good. He gets you draw, he gets to bounce your opponent's cards, and he's just a 25 double strike beat stick. Next, for Unisons, we run 4 copies of Cyberman Infinite Swarm. He costs two generic and X to play, so you can play two blue to play and give him two markers, or you can just play as many blue as you want to give him a lot of counters, but yeah. Plus one active main, play one Cyberman token with 5,000 power, zero combo cost, and 5,000 combo. Minus one active main, remove one of your Cyberman tokens from the game, choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards, but then it costs two or less, and place it at the bottom of the owner's deck. So this is mostly just for bouncing your opponent's uh, small fry two costs or one drops that you just want to get rid of and put them at the bottom of the deck. Just for good stall tactic. And if you already have one of these out, you could just put one in energy if you want. Really good synergy with this deck. Next on to extra cards, we of course run for Soul Punisher. It's our one cost extra card. Active battle, if your later card is Gogeta card, it gets plus 15 and critical. So... Why not have a like 35 double strike critical beat stick that can you can hit your opponent with and make them lose a lot of cards and have to combo over? So there's that. And for negates, we run four copies of Dimension Magic. It is our one drop negate counter attack. If your leader card is blue, negate the attack and choose two of your blue energy. Switch to active mode, sparking five. If you have five cards in your drop, you can take a card from your life and activate this card's negate without paying any energy. Just take a card from your life, negate, and then untap two blue energy. And then finally, we run three copies of Weiss Coercion. It's just a plain negate. Uh, one drop, you can negate the attack and choose one of your blue energy and switch it to active mode. So I just put this deck together earlier today. So tell me what you guys think of it, remember to comment, rate, please subscribe, like my Facebook page, follow me on Twitter, follow me on Instagram, those links are in the description below, also follow me on Twitch, that link will be in the description below, uh, even though I haven't been on Twitch lately, I've been streaming a little bit on YouTube here and there. So that's it for this video, so subscribe to my channel for more content, there'll be more content like this and much more on my channel. So thanks for watching guys, see you guys next time, thanks for watching.